West Highland White Terrier The West Highland White Terrier, or the Westie, is a medium-sized terrier and shares its roots with several other terriers that have come out of Scotland. Close ancestors of these dogs have been around as early as during the reign of King James VI of Scotland in the 16th century. The island-based geography of the country helped breeds with slightly different traits grow in relative isolation over several years. The white-haired, prick-eared Westie first came into prominence around 1905 to 07 as the Paltilock Terrier, so named because it had been developed by Colonel E. D. Malcolm, the Laird of Paltilock. The name went through several iterations before the present one was adopted in 1909. It was soon recognized by kennel clubs, and the breed has been popular ever since as a highly competitive show dog as well as a much-loved pet. Time for some rough trivia. What was the supposed reason for Colonel E. D. Malcolm to choose to breed white-colored terriers? A. He once ended up shooting a red-colored dog of his. B. White was the color of strength in Scotland. Or C. White blended well with the local terrain and helped the dogs in hunting. What do you think? Give it your best guess in the comments below before we get to the answer. Hang on tight and we'll get back to this rough trivia question toward the end of the video. The adult Westie has a height of around 9 to 11 inches and weighs about 15 to 21 pounds. This is a dog of compact build with muscular limbs. The always white coat has a length of about 2 inches and is rough in texture with a soft, dense undercoat. The tail is shaped like a carrot and never docked. Grooming The Westie requires daily brushing and combing to keep its coat clean and in good condition. Bathing should not be too frequent as it affects the dry coat. The coat also requires shaping every two to three months, which is done by clipping for house pets and by stripping for show dogs. Teeth and ears have to be cleaned regularly. Temperament High self-esteem is a phrase used often to describe a well-adjusted Westie. Independence, confidence, and possessiveness are traits found in most of these dogs, making them good watchdogs. It is considered the friendliest of the Scottish Terriers, particularly around kids, though it doesn't enjoy being rough-handled by children. It is not very friendly with other animals. Like other terriers, it enjoys chasing and barks a lot. Training A Westie is an intelligent dog, but training requires patience because of its independent and stubborn nature. It is an active breed built for the outdoors, but can be happy in an apartment as long as it gets a daily moderate walk or a good game. Health The life expectancy of the West Highland White Terrier is 12 to 14 years, and some dogs are known to live up to even 16 years. An inherited problem in the breed is globoid cell leukodystrophy, which can lead to paralysis. Another genetic condition is something called white dog shaker syndrome. Leg Perthy syndrome, which causes degeneration of the hip joint, luxating patella, which causes the kneecap to slip, and cataract are some other disorders seen in the breed. Underneath its irresistible cuteness, the West Highland White Terrier hides an independent and strong dog. One of the friendliest and most active terriers around, it is ideal for owners who can take time out to maintain its great looks. Let's get back to the answer to a rough trivia question. Colonel Malcolm, the person credited with developing the Westie, supposedly once shot a red dog of his, mistaking it for a fox. According to legend, this was why he decided to breed only white-colored dogs, resulting in the distinctive coat color of the breed. That does it for the West Highland Black Terrier. If you enjoyed this Dog Facts 101 video, be sure to subscribe and paw that thumbs up button. Then go ahead and check out some of our other videos or fun activities on our website. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.